Fantastic, Helen. Now, slowly put Millie down over there, on the left. Oh, hello everyone. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with Millie the motorbike. These vehicles are helping Helen with her training exercises. It's important for Helen to practice lifting different vehicles and placing them down without hurting them so that she can rescue vehicles in a real emergency. Helen's lifting each vehicle and placing them in a special order. Can you guess what the order is? That's right, she's sorting them by size. Starting from the left, we have the smallest vehicle first. Millie the motorbike, Rick the road roller, Max the monster truck, Rebecca the recycling truck, Fiona the fire truck, and, oh, there should be one more. Ah, here he is, Bobby the bus, just in time. Bobby's the biggest vehicle here. Helen, can you please lift Bobby to the end of the line? Oh dear, Helen, I think there's something wrong. Your winch cable looks like it's about to snap. Ah! Oh dear, oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. My arm is sore, but I'll be okay. Oh, Helen, you look badly hurt. I'll get Florence the forklift to lift you back up onto your skids and we'll take a look at you. The skids are a helicopter's feet. Helen rests on them when she isn't flying. Your skids seem okay, but your rotors have been damaged. Your winch cables snapped, and you're covered in scratches. This looks like a job for the Mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! I'm really sorry, Helen. You're in such a sorry state. The Mechanicals will fix you up, and you'll soon be feeling great. They'll swap your broken rotors, spray your scratches, and much more. Fit a thicker cable to your winch. Far, far stronger than before. Fantastic! Now you're all fixed up, let's head back outside and test your tough new winch out. Let's try sorting the vehicles by colours of the rainbow, starting with Fiona the red fire truck on the left. Next is Max the orange monster truck. Do you know who comes next? That's right, it's Rick the Yellow Road Roller. After Rick, it's Rebecca the Green Recycling Truck. Who's next? That's right, it's Millie the Blue Motorbike. And last, but definitely not least, it's Bobby the Purple Bus. Careful now, Helen, nice and steady. Brilliant. The mechanicals have fixed you up and made your winch even stronger. You can lift Bobby up no problem. And now the vehicles form a perfect rainbow and they match the real rainbow up in the sky. Beautiful. Thanks Fiona, Max, Rick, Rebecca, Millie and Bobby. Bye. Hello everyone, we're heading off to our spare parts store today. It's on the other side of town, so Helen the helicopter is going to fly us there. Go, go Helen!
The store is where we keep all of the spare parts for the vehicles we look after. It's in an awful mess, so we're meeting Florence the forklift truck there. She's going to help us get things tidy. Hello Florence. I'm so glad you offered to help. Some of the spare parts are far too heavy for me and the mechanicals to lift by ourselves. Should we go and take a look inside? Oh dear, just look at this mess. I try to keep things tidy, but we've been so busy lately. Let's try sorting everything by size, shall we? Small, medium and large. That's much tidier, but there aren't many big or small parts, but there's loads of medium sized ones. There isn't enough room for them all. We'll have to try something else. How about sorting the parts by shape? Circles, squares and triangles. Hmm. We have lots of wheels and other circle shapes, and we have lots of parts and square boxes, but no triangles. Let's try again. How about sorting the shapes by colour? That might work. Red, yellow and blue. Uh-oh, we have a place for all the red, yellow and blue parts, but what about all of the other colours? No, this won't do. One last try, let's try sorting by vehicle. So, bike, car and van parts on the left, truck and bus parts in the middle and construction vehicle parts on the right. Perfect! A place for everything, and everything in its place. Very tidy. Oh no, Florence, what's the matter? Is something wrong? Your lifting forks look damaged. The mechanicals will get you some replacement forks. At least we know where to find them, now that the store is tidy. You're a construction vehicle, so your parts will be over on the right. I'll go outside and call Helen to take us back to the garage. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help, a vehicle in need. Let's take a good look at you to see if there's anything else wrong. Mm, no, it looks like just your forks are broken. We'll soon get you fixed up. Go, go mechanicals! Florence worked so hard today. She is a brilliant friend. I'm sorry that it took so long, but we got tidy in the end. All that lifting broke her fork. We'll fix her good as new. As a thank you for all her hard work, it's the least that we could do. There, you're fit and healthy again, ready for your next job. I'm glad Florence could help us tidy up. She's a hard worker and a brilliant lifter. Bye! Hello everyone. We've got a visitor here today. Have you seen him anywhere? He's big. He's very big. 
He's George the Giant Dump Truck. Oh, there you are, George. George is usually hard at work in the mine, carrying massive amounts of rock. But today, he's here at Gecko's Garage getting some new tyres fitted. They are huge! George is so big, he can't fit inside the garage, so he's having his tyres changed outside. Those look great! Well done, Mechanicals! Before he goes home to the mine, George is going to visit his little brother Dylan the dump truck over at the construction site. The site entrance is wide, but George is much wider. Uh-oh! He's going to knock down the fence! Watch out, George! Oh dear! Florence and Sid are getting the flowers ready to plant in the gardens of the new houses. What pretty flowers! Red, yellow, and blue. Don't leave the flowers there. Those flowers are tall, but George is much taller. Uh-oh, George can't see the flowers and he's going to squash them. Watch out, George! Oh dear! Celia's pouring concrete foundations into that trench. The trench is large, but George is much larger. Uh-oh! He's going to drive straight through it! Watch out, George! Oh dear! Here's George's brother, Dylan. He doesn't look very happy about all the mess that George has made today. And here comes Helen the helicopter. She's checking on the construction work from way high up in the sky. Oh dear, something's wrong. I think Helen's about to crash land on the construction site. Oh dear, poor Helen. We need to get you back to the garage. But how can we do that? I'd normally call Helen to carry a broken vehicle to the garage, but she can't carry herself. Helen is very big. Can you think of anyone that could help get Helen to the garage? George! That's right! Helen is very big, but George is much bigger. He can carry Helen back. George is too big for gardening, and he smashed the construction gate. He messed up Celia's concrete, that really wasn't great. But when Helen was in trouble, he knew just what to do, no matter if you're big or small, there's a perfect job for you. Well done George, you've saved the day. The Mechanicals will get Helen sorted out in no time, and you'd best head home to the mine. You've got important work to do. Bye! Oh! Uh-oh! The trees! Watch out, George! Too late! Rick the Road Roller is at the construction site today. He helps Danny the Digger and his other friends by making surfaces flat and safe to drive on. Without him, vehicles would have a very bumpy ride. Rick can flatten soil, sand, concrete, tarmac or even gravel. Ah, it looks like Celia's filling that deep hole with concrete. 
When concrete dries, it's rock hard and good to build on. Oh no, look out Rick, don't roll into that concrete, it's only just been poured and it's far too deep. Uh oh, too late, oh dear, Rick is stuck and Caroline the Crane's at another job and she's not here to pull him out. This looks like a job for Helen the Helicopter. Go, go Helen! back to the garage and fix you up. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Did you enjoy your flight, Rick? Let's take a good look at you. Oh dear, you're well and truly stuck in that concrete. Don't worry, the mechanicals will get you out in no time. Go, go, Mechanicals! It must have been an awful shock. To get stuck in concrete, that hardens like rock. Please don't worry, without a doubt, the Mechanicals jackhammers will break you out. There, as good as new. Let's go outside and test your roller to make sure everything's in full working order. Careful Mechanicals, stand well back, we don't want you getting squashed. Ok Rick, squash those shapes. The first shape to squash is over here, a big round ball we call a sphere. Rick rolls it flat and then we find, a circle has been left behind. A big tall pointy pyramid second shape that Rick has hid. Rick rolls it flat and now we found a triangle left on the ground. This one has six faces all the same, a cube is its name. Rick rolls it flat and now down there we have a perfect flattened square. The final one to be destroyed, a shoebox shape, it's a cuboid. Rick pushes down, the shape is mangled, and now we have a flat rectangle. Very impressive Rick, looks like you're back to your old self again. You'd better get back to the construction site, Danny the digger will be worried about you. I'm glad we could get Rick out of that concrete and back to normal. He'll have to watch where he's going in future so that he doesn't get into any more trouble. See you all again soon. Bye! Mia the mini digger is helping her big brother Danny dig holes on the building site today. You've been working very hard, I think it's time for a rest. Aren't you going for a break too Mia? What's wrong? You look sad. Oh I see, you want to dig a hole as big as Danny's. Don't be so glum Mia, you're good at lots of other things. Um, Mia, I'm not sure that's a good idea. You're a little digger and that's a very big hole. Danny's a bigger digger so it's easier for him to dig big holes. A mini digger just can't dig a hole that deep, a hole that big. But Mia digs three days and nights, until she disappears from sight. Her scoop gets caught upon some rubble. Uh oh, I think that Mia's in trouble. There's no one around to hear her shout. Oh how can we get Mia out? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go Helen! Oh 
We're coming, Mia. Hold on tight, Mia. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's take a good look at you and see what's wrong. Hmm. It looks like your scoop's broken. And one of your tracks. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. They'll get you fixed in no time. Go, go, mechanicals! You tried to copy Danny, but you came unstuck. And you ended up trapped in the muck. Your older brother's much, much bigger. Remember, you're a mini digger. We'll swap your scoop and fix your track. And soon you'll be on your way back. There you are, as good as new. Now, Danny has a job for you. Danny needs to dig a small hole in the floor of this new building. He may be really good at digging big holes, but he's too large to fit through the doors, and his scoop is far too big. I wonder who he could get to do the job. That's right, it's the perfect job for you, Mia. I told you that you were good at other things. Danny the digger's big and can dig big holes. Mia's small and it's the right size to dig smaller holes in hard to reach places. Good job, Mia. I knew you could do it. There's a perfect job for each of you here at the construction site. Celia, the cement mixer, is working hard on the construction site today. She's pouring concrete into the ground to make strong foundations to build houses on. This site needs a lot of concrete. Celia, you'd better come over to the depot to get some more. It's just round the corner from Gecko's garage. Concrete is made from different ingredients all mixed together, like a cake. To build a good strong building, we need good solid ground. The ingredients fill Celia's drum, then it churns round and round. Cement, sand, stones and water create the perfect paste. Now it's off to the construction site. There is no time to waste. Celia's drum keeps moving, round and round, all twirly-whirly. This keeps the concrete mixture from going hard too early. She needs to get there in one hour. No messing on the way. The construction site is not too far. So that should be okay. Uh, Celia, I think there's something wrong with your drum. It's not supposed to be making that noise. Perhaps you should drive back over to Gecko's garage so that we can take a look. If it stops turning, then you'll be in trouble. The concrete will be stuck solid in the drum. Oh dear. It looks like Celia is carrying on to the construction site. Uh-oh, a traffic jam. But don't worry, you still have three quarters of your time left. Hmm, your drum is still making a terrible noise. Are you sure you won't come back to the garage? We don't want your drum to stop. Uh-oh. Celia! Where are you going? If the concrete hardens in your drum, then you'll be in terrible trouble. It'll take days to get the hardened concrete out. We need to get you fixed up right away, back at the garage. Oh no, Celia, what have you done? Your drum has stopped, and now your wheel has come off. 
You can't drive to the construction site or to the garage. And with a drum full of concrete, you're too heavy for Helen the helicopter to pick up. If you can't come to the garage, then we'll come to you. Hold on in there, Celia. We're on our way. Go, go, Helen! Our time is half gone, so we need to get that drum turning again, and quickly. Go, go, Mechanicals! Fantastic! Now, let's get that tyre changed. You're all fixed up now, Celia, but we only have 15 minutes left. I just can't see how you can get to the construction site in time. If only there was someone who could help you get there faster. Hooray! Here comes Millie the police motorbike. She can put on her flashing lights and clear a path through the traffic to the construction site. We'll meet you there. Phew! You made it just in time, Celia. But that was very, very close. I think Celia's learnt her lesson. And next time there's something wrong, she'll come and get help from her friends at Gecko's Garage. We'll see you again soon. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!